Andy Stevens in a Team KF, standing alongside Adam Shelley, who's sporting a, uh, a beautiful moustache, I must yeah. say, here. Yeah, something different, Andy, you know. Something different, something different. Well, look, it's, it's something different, I suppose, um, at the moment, in that I was hoping to be speaking to you about a fight. Uh, Cage Warriors 153, Saturday, 29th of April. You were originally scheduled to face Dean Barry. Uh, the fight's not happening. Yeah, yeah. so I just found out during the week there, Chris rang me. Chris looks after all that stuff, like liaising with Cage Warriors for me. He just called me on Wednesday and he just said that uh, Dean was out of the fight and then I saw that Dean had stuff up about uh, an injury, a shoulder injury. So uh, Cage Warriors have assured me that they're going to get a replacement as soon as possible. So hopefully I'll hear in the next couple of days, get something sorted and just focus on that for the next two weeks. Yeah, is, that, like, is it frustrating for you to, you know, when you're, you're focusing on an opponent, obviously, and, and it's a style you'll be very familiar with in, yeah. in Dean, both come up from a kind of like points kickboxing or right. uh, you know various different types of kickboxing? Yeah, so like, something that I do, like I don't really focus too much on my opponent, obviously like if you look at what happens, your opponents can drop out and pull out for whatever reasons, um, something that we most of us do here, we don't game plan too strong for one particular opponent we sort of just improve our skill set generally, that's what I like to do just improving every aspect of my game and lead up to a fight, so in the event that mm. on fight week or whenever it might happen, the opponent pulls out and somebody else goes in at least you're sort of well round enough to deal with whatever might come so the, the truth is I hadn't been game planning too strong I've been just training okay. get myself better and luckily that's the case because if I had been too fixated on that style it's gonna be rare to get another opponent with that style like you know yeah. chances are my next opponent will be something different so uh, hopefully I'll be well versed enough to deal with that anyway yeah we, yeah. La we last spoke ahead of your last fight and you were coming off the James Power loss uh, obviously yeah. a, a stoppage it was I imagine a different uh, kind of mindset coming into a fight like that but then you got the win were you happy with that performance overall? Yeah happy enough with the performance uh, do you know what? I actually think I was nearly too relaxed in there mm -hmm. and which led to me not getting the stoppage like on, on reviewing the fight and I spoke to Chris after and stuff I would have liked him to get the stoppage um, I think if I had a push for a little bit harder I would have but then just with coming off the loss like you know I was being very careful and uh, not wanting to make any mistakes in there um, so that be definitely something I'll be looking to, to change this time around to be pushing a much higher pace from the start regardless of the opponent and looking for a stoppage win yeah, yeah for yeah. sure how has the camp been the, the, you know, the age of question how has the camp been but you, you know you've, you were talking previously about uh, you're in the fire service yeah yeah uh, fireman Adam how have you been able to balance the two uh, the last while? Yeah, it's been great. It's it's busy and it's hard, like you know. But um, I just find with with proper planning and I've great support here from my team. My girlfriend is very helpful, like you know, helping me with meals or whatever, like all them little things at home. You know, yourself it all adds up. So um, and then I do feel like I'm the type of person I work better when I'm busy. Like you know, some other people are great, just sort of focusing their attention on one thing and they go all in on that. I like to have a few little things going where I'm never just you know idle for too long I'm going from one thing to the other and uh, I just find that's been helping me so much over the last six seven months my training has been better and um, like you know my diet has been better because I can't just like you know I'll, I'll, I'll eat whatever like you know everything has to be planned everything has to be prepped yeah and it's just going well yeah yeah and then so you're expecting Ian Dean will have an opponent for you then in, in the next couple of days hopefully so what day is today yeah. Monday I really uh, I really hope to hear this week yeah yeah, yeah. But, without getting too much into the, the drama of it all uh, you did put up a post about yeah. that you were kind of expecting this and that you were expecting that Cage Warriors would have a replacement opponent what was that about? Yeah so that was just at, at the start of when the fight got announced um, you know it was sort of more people around me like you know were predicting a pull out um, I then had to get myself into a, a frame of mind where this fight was happening, which I did, and I was I was focused on the fight with Dean, mm -hmm. and I was ready for that. Like I said, it, did, it has fallen through, as everybody knows. It is frustrating for me, of course, um, but look, like I said, I'll be just ready for the next opponent now, whoever comes in. Yeah, well look, we'll, we'll find out about your, your new opponent in the coming days, I'm sure. Uh, a, a, a matchup that we do know is, is happening is uh, your brother Ryan yeah. against the boys. This is a fantastic match. I think it's, fight, it's, yeah. it's it's title ramifications on the line, um, and what a fight! Like Harilla brings it. What do you, what do you see yeah, in that like, you know that's when that got made. I was even saying to other people like. 
without me being Ryan's brother, obviously, like as a fan, mm. like if you've got no, no, like obviously I have invested interest in that fight hugely, but like it's taking that away from it, it's a fucking great fight. Yeah. Ah, Jesus. I, I think it's it's like you know, don't get me wrong. Reese and Jimmy Wallhead is a fantastic fight. James and Owen is a great fight, but not being biased, I think Ryan and Harilla is the people's main event. You know? I mean, it, a lot of people are really excited. It's for a number of reasons. It's, Harilla is just this kind of weird psychotic yeah, kind of yeah, enigma yeah, yeah. where he comes out with the clown mask and then he, he fight like I was saying to Chris he kind of fights like a Justin Gaethje almost where he mm. just throws caution to the wind yeah. uh, at times and, and is very very violent um, and then when you pair him up with a, a finisher like Ryan yeah. who has shown you know his grappling arsenal his striking arsenal uh, it's just a perfect match yeah now sadly I'll be, I'll be looking forward to that one alright be I think I'm on earlier in the card so I'll um, you I'll asked for it. that last I think when you were with uh, might have been Katie Hunter uh, from MMA UK you were saying put me on first yeah and now look it's just after happening now that Ryan has you know Ryan has a better record than me he's further ahead in his division so now it just happens that he's later on the card like he's obviously he's main, main card this time I would guess um, I haven't even seen the card I believe he's, he's if not the comment event he's uh, one down from that it's one down himself. from that I think it might be James and, and uh, Owen Elliott are coming yeah. in and then so right. that, that does suit me you know I, I prefer that but um yeah, it's not really from me requesting it. It's that he's after fucking pushing ahead of me. But look, I'll catch up with him. Yeah, yeah it's, the race is on. Yeah, the race yeah, is that's on. It, that's um, it. Two other lads from the gym, Taka and Leon, both kind of having a, a comeback of sorts in, in different ways. Um, how are they looking ahead of their fights? Ah, the lads are looking really sharp. Like, you know, it's always like everyone's going to talk up their teammates. Yeah, and, yeah. Like, and it's, but having the four of us on the card, like, there is a great atmosphere. There's a great great buzz around training all the other lads even if they haven't got fights coming up they're coming down they're helping us prep they're giving us rounds when we need them they're mimicking different styles if anybody needs it and um, I just find like you know let's say on a particular day you're going like let's say you're a bit tired today or whatever like when you have the other three when I have the other three lads who are on the show they're doing the exact same training as me the exact same stuff and when we're all turning up together it's pushing everybody on and the rounds here are pay-per-view rounds at the moment like because you know me, me Ryan Leon and Taka especially we're all peaking at the same time so we're sharp we're in you know we're conditioned we're ready to go so the rounds are fantastic yeah well yeah. look it's a big night for Team KF uh, hopefully it'll be a big night for yourself yeah. we'll have news of a new opponent on Severe MMA in the coming days I'm sure um, tune in UFC Fight Pass Saturday 29th of April Cage War is 153 Adam Shelley will, will be there fighting Absolutely. TBD Ryan Shelley will be yeah. there fighting Tobias Serena uh, Leon Hill as I mentioned and, and Takamandu um, tune in and uh, thanks for watching Brilliant. appreciate it thanks Andy nice thank you